<laughs> what do you mean? That's a good point. I is, see. Is it? Is it? Like, have they been traveling? Like, now that you say they've gotten into like a, like a, a formation and they're following yeah. us, have they been in the same formation for more than like thirty seconds, a minute, a couple minutes? Um, yeah. All right. They're in kind of like a uh, a line, sort of like a curved line. All right, I'm going to, let's see, I'm using shrink for one, um, and weightless on this one, so I've got three more. All right, I'm going to put three 30-foot uh, diameter, uh, or whatever, what is that, 20-foot radius or 30-foot diameter? Um, gra uh, oh, wait, no, then I'll lose it. Damn it, that's why. Damn it. Damn it, ass cock. What's the, like, your range on that is? Ah, it doesn't matter. Um, I'd have to make it weight, weightlessness, which I guess would work, because then they'd hit it and just... <laughs> they'd hit it. Well, they have flight, so... Right, it would just... Yeah, yeah. they have to make a piloting roll still, because it's mm -hmm. not expected, but... Yeah, I because I was going to go heavy. I was going to have them just drop, just see what would happen. Yeah, I mean, the rain, your range is like, what, 200 and... 40 feet or something yeah so i was just gonna put it there but i suppose once i get once i get out of range do they disappear yeah oh okay. yeah, it's enough to it gotcha i was just gonna like keep it there and like concentrate on it but i guess once i get out okay i didn't and then plus it doesn't work because i can only do one gravity god damn it i always forget about that because it's such mm -hmm. a i don't know why i can't do two <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> like why does the rule book stop that i get that it's you know stronger but i don't think it's overpowered <laughs> to be able to do too but all right never mind waste of time let's go keep, continue flying all right well so you, you keep going about another 40 miles or so that um uh well yeah it's not that much time has passed maybe like half an hour total uh after a couple of bounces um are you just guy i was gonna just kind of hold your course and keep going I mean, in all honesty, like, while we're doing this, Willow is definitely going to be surveying the landscape. Okay. Like, she's like, after, like, they stop shooting at us, she's like, oh, that's a good sightseeing trip, actually. Yeah, <laughs> definitely get some mapping done. It's kind of, uh, it, it, it's, it's bouts of, like, peacefulness with, like, the jarring landing. Yep. Oh, I guess Rudge could make it less jarring, if you want to. That's what I've been, yeah, I've been doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been, like I said, once we get close, and you know, I just kind of float us in. And... Yeah. Um, then we okay. Again. Yeah. So you're just gonna keep heading, like, kind of north. Yeah. Um. Are I we, think. Are we waiting till we see some giant monster, and then we'll just kind of do a double engagement? Well, I actually, I'm. <laughs> After the first couple of jumps, Willow's actually more curious how far they're willing to follow. Because, like, we have... Did we? I can't remember. Did we have the map of their general, ter like, uh, their yeah. region? Yeah, it's it's pretty well known. So you have this map with... The... Yeah, so, like, she wants to see if they're willing to engage after that. All right. Yeah. And she'll let that be known to you. She's like, well, I do know that their zone ends, like, you know, 85 miles north of their place. Ah. Uh, so I would like to see if the they're willing to engage outside of it. Testing the, the borders. Yes. And uh, my thought is, if we get just outside their borders or near it to the north, you know, and then we attack them, they might think we're up this way. Mm-hmm. Right. Definitely don't right. want to lead them home. So, so one thing we could do, even, actually, is actually, once we get a bike on their borders up north, head east more. And then... Deceive. Yeah. Attempt to deceive them, thinking that, you know, we're feel more confident now that we're closer to home. Yep. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, and nudge, nudge. Rudge. It's the rudge, nudge. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you, you go for another, um, like, hour thereabouts. And uh, so at this point, the, the sun is starting to rise because uh, this is all going on at, at night. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, and uh, one of the sky cycles peels off and heads back south. Um, How many were following us total? I forgot. Four, okay. The one that headed off 
looked like the one that got hit with the missiles. Okay. And the other three continue to follow you. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, I think we'll get, like... Actually, is there any, um, like, landmarkers up here that might signify closer to their borders that we could see? Um, like, do they have any, like, outposts or anything that we're, like, avoiding? They, not as far as you can see visually. Okay. And, like, you don't know of any. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, honestly, like, if you didn't have the map, like, you, this, it wouldn't be apparent that they, this is that's their... That's I was wondering. Okay. Uh, it's pretty much just, like, wilderness. Um, okay, that's it, actually perfect. What? Uh, it is getting a little bit more, like, forested. Uh, that's not, actually... Not, like, dense forest, but, uh, there, there's more, uh, greener, like, terrain like that. Greenery. Okay. Taller uh -huh. shrubs and more frequent we should try and find like something to maybe make a quick stand in and just take a few like shots at them mm -hmm. once we have some cover like if there's like trees and stuff something that could provide us at least visual cover mm -hmm. at least like temporarily even if it's just for you know a couple moments at a time where we could land and get off a few shots and then duck behind some, you know, big rocks or something or trees while we're still in their preserved or presumed terrain, like their area. Mm How's -hmm. that sound, Reg? No, yes, yes, yes. I agree. So I'm gonna find like a the sort of tree outcropping type yeah, thing. Place where they can't use like their like pure aerial advantage and range where like they're gonna have to get closer if they want to engage kind of thing right like maybe if there's like um i mean shit even just like a four like if there's woods that have you know like 60 foot tall pine trees oh no nothing nearly that dramatic it's like the, the sort of trees i'm talking about is like maybe 20 feet tall at most like deciduous kind of things So, so yeah, like sparse, uh, sparse forest. Yeah. Uh, you could probably find something that has decent visual cover. Yeah, um, I mean, just some like I don't like I don't I don't know the terrain around here well enough, but I feel jumping up in the air, I'd be able to see places that maybe have, you know, like if I look from the sky while we're jumping and I can't see a land, that's a good area. <laughs> so land near that where and run over there. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so after, like, another one or two jumps, uh, you get to a sort of semi-defensible um, position, kind of, like, up on a, uh, like, a ridge line, uh, where a there is... ridge. Yeah, a couple of uh, rocks and, uh, this is like, a stand of trees and more dense shrubs. Yeah, fuck you guys. Yep. Now, do and you want me to get the truck there. out? No, because if that gets hit again, that's going to blow up. Ah, all right. <laughs> or become scrap metal. The truck is weaker than everyone here. Yeah. Should we... <laughs> should do we... How far... Like, no, we don't have time to do anything. What? What can I plan? Well, I was thinking we could just wield the gun. I, mean, I was thinking that too, but I mean, at the end of the day, we all have weapons that are the same range as it. Oh, you, really? you, can, you can detach that uh, rifle pretty yeah. easily. That's what I mean, yeah. Uh, it's on a mount, you can just, like, it's basically just like a screw-on, like, clamp. Yeah. yeah. So if you, if you wanted to use it as just a rifle uh, without the vehicle, it's not difficult to do. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to pull that off... We could definitely do that. I'm just wondering if it's if it's worth it, because if it does more than my than the pistol. I mean, yeah, it's it's gonna deal more damage yeah, than we have. It times ten, so yeah, it's a pretty good damage yeah, I mean, output. It definitely is more powerful. So if you want to do that, I'm absolutely yeah. cool with that. Yeah. So zero. Spit out that truck. <laughs> so he. So you. Uh, you take the truck out and then like unscrew the small gun. Yes. And take and then, zoop, 
yep. goes back to uh, full size as you take it off. Yes. Great. <laughs> um, all right, yeah. You've got the particle rifle. It's, it's kind of a big, un, somewhat unwieldy weapon, uh, but... All right, anything. now can I use the weight manipulation and bring it down? Bring what down? The gun. The gun's weight. Uh, yes. I guess you could do that. Yeah, uh, like how, uh, how unwieldy is it? Because I can bring it down to... It's big. Yeah, it, it wouldn't... It's affect... 21 pounds normally. Yeah, I mean, it, its weight wouldn't... Its weight doesn't affect your shooting. Uh, it, it, it wouldn't affect, uh, like, if it was weightlessness. It, I mean, it'd be easier to carry. Yeah. That's about it. All right, and that that's just what I'll do later. Yeah. I mean, it, has, it would have no mechanical advantage, but it would might help you out a little bit just in the long term for lugging around a 21-pound gun. Yeah. This is a side note. Uh, the Big Boss ATV weighs one ton, which means Willow could technically chuck that. <laughs> just as a side note. As is. Just... <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's like... That's not even like a light load for her. Nice. Yeah. Just chuck a car. Uh, yeah, so you you get the gun out, get it out the ready, uh, and kind of like peek out of the the woods to see if where the sky cycles are. Yep. How'd they get that uh, gun off so easily? <laughs> they are. They have kind of um, stopped their approach and done a similar thing to what they did when uh, before. Um, where like they they stopped and then they they're starting to like pan out and circle you at a, a range of about two thousand feet. Yeah. Um. As a side note, Rod. When we get back, I'm developing a jet. <laughs> so you can deal with these shits. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's fucking annoying. Yep. I mean, even a jet engine would be fine. We can just attach it to things. Just shoot yourself at it. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, yeah, so they, a couple minutes, they, they seem content to wait you out. I mean, honestly, even a jet-powered truck would be fine. Hey, Rudge, I have an idea. For the, the short term. How about if I just make, how about you just make yourself weightless and I'll chuck you at one of them? And then you just blast away with the particle weapon. <laughs> I mean, won't I get bombarded on my way over? I don't know, I didn't think that part through. <laughs> I was just thinking of ways of closing the gap. Right. I mean, it would work. But then I don't have the means to get back. Cover. Run. You can fly. Slowly. <laughs> you throw me about a mile. I mean, I, we could we could aim you differently. Just I I could like aim you like I'm skipping a rock across the treetops. I mean, I'd rather not. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> um. It, it's it does seem fun, but it's an it's an unknown success. Yeah, I'm just concerned because we're at a kind of a stalemate here. Yes. Well, hmm. I mean, you could we we could just j jump right at them, all of us. I mean, we could actually. <laughs> That is an option. I should have brought a fucking rifle with instead of a pistol. <laughs> Rifles have much greater range. They do, indeed. <laughs> Here, I was going for aesthetics. Be within range of them right now with the rifle. Oh, yeah, plenty. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Jumping at them is not a bad idea. That at least puts us in range of a group attack at least once. Mm-hmm. As currently they're like spread out around you. Yeah, which is perfect because then we can jump at one of them and we don't yeah. have to. The other one is very far away then. They're they're, they're cruising at like um, probably like sixty miles an hour around you. So. All right, uh, math. Let me do a yeah. geometry roll. Yeah, I'm not even. I, I guess you can roll it if you want. But <laughs> I'm, succeed. You guys are like really smart. You can well, do some basics. I, I, I figure if we get a really good roll, it'll give us a, a bonus to, to the attack. Like, what what are the chances of Willow just propelling herself, like, you know, all of them, like, a rocket towards one of these things? Uh, I mean, you wouldn't be going as fast as a rocket. 
unless you had, had we, some kind we of... We really uh, need to figure out like, the math, because we might be, actually. I mean... No, it's like... I don't think so. Okay, to clarify, when she has your, like, you know, like, the weightless thing, she can lift... If we're weightless, and she's pushing off with 11,000 pounds of pressure... Mm -hmm. I was looking up some real quick Hulk math, and, like, it's enough to break concrete when he jumps... And like the, there's an equation of how much that is, but I don't. Oh, yeah. I, don't know. I will. I will actually figure it out for next session. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. You you need to use um, uh, specific formula motion equation. Mm, yeah, okay. uh, and you can figure it out from that. Okay. But yeah, well, so I mean, if you had some kind of propulsion, I mean, to, like, we we, we do have, while I mean, we do. We have the drone. Well, there you go. Yeah, if you, if you want to use that, then you could accelerate a lot faster. That's what I mean. If we just like straight up accelerated like ourselves, like a missile, I'll hold on to like you know, you guys hold on to Willow. That is Willow will hold the drone out in front of her like a missile head, and we will well, jump. You, I mean, you might want the drone behind you. Otherwise, its exhaust is like. Isn't that exhaust? In your it's face. Solar power. Oh. Yeah, well, but it has a thruster, right? Yeah. They need some form of propulsion, so... Yeah. Mm. It's wings. I, I mean, uh, heat exhaust. Yeah. Not, not like... Yeah, but Will is immune to heat, so it wouldn't matter to her. Rudge is not, so... <laughs> he's, well, he's got mega damage armor, yeah, he is. That's generic, true. Generic heat we're immune to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, like... Like, no, I know what you mean. I agree with you. I'm just... Like, thinking of it actually logically, we would all actually be immune to it because we all have mega damage armor on, which is immune to all True. heat. So, except for, like, sun level heat. You're right. Um, anyways, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, probably be fine. <laughs> yeah, with environmental armor. I mean, it's, like, a lot, it, that's a lot of heat. Still. Like, yeah. yeah, for, like, a few seconds, that wouldn't be that bad. But, yes. At the end of the day, we're going to jump at this fuckhead. Okay. Um, Rod, do you want to be a missile? Uh, I I, <laughs> hopefully, down. hopefully without the explosion part. All right, all right. What did you say, Ben? Sorry. I, I guess off. if you wanted to have the drone out in front of you, that would make sense for uh, shielding, like. Yeah, and, well, it's, it's all angular, so it could definitely like put all six of its claws up in front, yeah. like an actual arrow point. Aerodynamics. Yep. Okay, sure. Um, yep. So this is this is your strategy. Yep. 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 Uh, okay. I mean, they, they literally I, left us with no choice. Strategy. The I, genius I, level IQ people thought of this. I am not gonna say it's bad. We turned uh, two humanoids, a small robot, and a wasp drone into a missile. <laughs> All right. So you like hug each other and form like this tower, uh, and then like Willow with the drone holding forward, jumps off, and then starts accelerating so that you get like this flare as the as the um as the heat exhaust like just kind of goes past your faceplate. Uh like it's kind of like atmospheric entry, like heat uh streaks, heat lines. <laughs> um as you are zero gravity and then accelerate towards one of them. Um so, uh, how do we want to do this? Uh, I would say Willow was the one jumping, so do you just want to give me like a, a just a flat d20 strike roll? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would even suggest maybe like a three or four penalty on that too, just because of awkwardness. But, um, my, yeah, we'll do minus two just because of his, uh, his, <laughs> his, uh, it doesn't matter what you minus. minus. What'd you so, get? It's a natural 20. Ah, nice. Well, he is going to attempt to dodge. Um, he did not. I need to, okay, I'm going to stop using this dice tonight. I feel like it's just loaded. Uh, Alright, so now i got to figure out how much fucking damage you do. Uh, well, okay, so let's see here. You are moving pretty fast. Um, what is your combined weight? Uh, weightless. <laughs> well, no, it's zero gravity. I guess. Oh yeah, zero gravity. Mass, I, I'll say. Uh, so Willow and the drone are a total of seven hundred pounds. Okay. 
plus whatever rod gen zero um, is. About 325, 350. So we're looking at like a thousand pounds. Thousand pounds, okay. Um, to make it a rough estimate, yeah. So, and then you gotta. Oh, I forgot how. I mean, like more like. Well, how heavy is my armor? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's like the, it's the lightweight uh, version. Yeah, a couple. I mean, it's not like power armor. That's why I said if we had rounded to a thousand, I feel like that's. Yeah, it's not significantly heavy. Right, like sixty pounds, hundred pounds. No, probably not even that. Right. Well, I'll, I'll, so the Nolian light armor, which is heavier than most, never most. Ugh. The Nolian light armor, which is heavier than pretty much all other light armors, is only eighteen pounds. So it's oh, much less than that. Okay, so it's not even worth. Yeah, Nolian's gear is quite a bit heavier than everything else. So. Okay. Um. So. Roll five d six. Uh, damage. Missile ho! Pew! Um. An alien missile has been launched. <laughs> I think, what, it's what, a nuclear one? No, no, a missile made of aliens. Yes. Uh, 20 damage. 20 damage, okay. And then I'm gonna have to make a piloting roll, which is the important bit. Now that we've done this more than once, or now that we've done this once, next time we had to all try and grab onto them. We need to start forming strategies based off of this. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Uh, so, um, he does not take that well. He was very surprised by your sudden acceleration towards him. So, like, you're, I mean, the hit, like, did some damage, not that much compared to, you know... The, I mean, we're, we're not a missile. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not explosive or anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, like, so you, you, like, ping off of him, and mostly you just, like, hit him and send him kind of, like, spinning off to the side of you uh, with your, your trajectory kind of changed slightly to compensate, and... You kind of look behind you and see uh, him like like spinning around, spiraling down towards the ground, um, and uh, he he crashes pretty hard into the ground. Nice. Uh, not sure exactly the uh, his, his fate, but uh, it looks like he he de he definitely hit the ground. How high up were we? Uh. Probably a couple hundred feet up, so Ooh. he's yeah. probably he's probably not getting back up from that one. All right, guys, we need to rush over there now. Bike is to where okay. him or the next one? To where he is, because there's a potential he may have died, but the bike might still be okay. Yep. So, uh, so now we're going to uh, <laughs> roll initiative because <laughs> the remaining two bikes are so like, less passive. Mm -hmm. uh, now that you've done this, mm -hmm. um, what, are you talking what have we about? done? We've done you... nothing. We didn't fire a weapon at him. Guys, man, I mean that's technically true. You just body checked him. <laughs> we we were just trying to we were trying to give him we were trying to get social distancing and he wasn't like having it. Get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> that was we, gotta, pretty great, we, gotta, we gotta get our tokens up so we can yeah. initiate. Oh shit! Yeah. Unless you uh, just want, the, yeah. Unless you want the, the rolls. Yeah, I I still have the turn order up, so just give me the numbers and I'll okay. I'll write them. Uh, sixteen Raj. It, it translates over for me, but not for you. Sixteen Raj, seventeen okay. zero. Seventeen Willow. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Nope. They rolled seventeen too. Oh God. Uh I mean, uh, you're... What's, your, what's your initiative bonus level? Uh -huh, plus. Oh, for, what is it? Three or four. Yeah, so uh, three. Can... Plus three. Uh, all right. Well, oh, plus four. Oh, actually, she had eighteen. I calculated that wrong. I looked oh, okay. at the wrong number. Well, you, you go first eight, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I've been to... that, that was a tight grouping of initiatives. <laughs> like, like we jumped and everyone was like, "The fuck," including us. Mm. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, so you, you're first. Uh, you so you see the the other sky cycles like kind of uh, swerve in your direction. I guess the furthest one is about four thousand. Uh, feet away, and the closest one's about 2,000. Maybe a little more than that. Okay. 
A little uh, under a mile, a little under half a mile. Yep. Okay, so Willow can run 60 miles an hour. Well, you're currently flying through the air. Oh, are we still flying? Yep. Okay, I, just, I didn't know if we got deflected downwards or anything like that. Uh, no, you got deflected off kind of like to the side. Yeah, just kind of all over. Yep. Um, well, I can't really do anything. Can I stop the weightless as a free action or not? Uh, sure. I mean, you'll still be in the air because you'll, you'll fall to the ground fairly quickly, I guess. But and for the like the first action, pretty much. I mean. Yeah, do we want do we want to go straight down? Well, not straight, but you know what I mean. Do we want do we want to go down? Um, well, the problem is if we keep flying, they can just shoot at us while we're up here. Yep. Yeah, I think just dropping would probably be the best idea, even if it's uncomfortable. Like even if we lose our first attacks. All right. I feel like getting to the ground is a good idea. Um. Okay. Uh, well, why don't you guys all give me a like a uh, roll with to see if you can. Gracefully land and not zero. Not zero can he's he hovers. Right. Yep. So he's he, fine. Yeah. Drones like, why are you falling? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid human. So I guess yeah. Willow and Rudge. Uh, uh, which one is this? What, what, what roll one? with. Roll with. Yeah. Is that a twenty? Yeah, yep. it's a twenty. It's right under your combat skills, like the bottom left stat there. It says roll. I got a plus three, uh, so... Okay, 18. Uh, okay. An 11. Uh, yeah. Your landing's a little bit shakier, but you might tumble a little bit, but you don't lose uh, any attacks. Hang off a tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Um, so you will be... Like, your first action, you're still falling, but you don't lose any attacks. Okay. And we're not uh, fucking floating for another thousand feet. Yep. yep. Um... Yeah, right. well, I guess I guess on the way down, Willow will just basically pull out her pistol and just kind of wait for the, you know. Get ready. Okay. Yep. yep. So the sky cycles are going to shoot you, uh, missiles. Because they didn't want that. It was very rude of you. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, low on missiles, hopefully. They, no, maybe uh, scary. Yeah, I'm keeping track of them. They're they've been <laughs> shooting quite a few. Yeah. Uh, they have. All right. So they're going to. They're each going to fire four missiles. Okay. Um, the drone is going to shoot his missile at one of the missile groupings. Okay. And then Zero and Raj will shoot at missiles as well. So, so right. he got... Uh, so, uh, Ben, just so you know, so he got a 16, which, you know, should hit. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. And they, they, uh, it's a 75% chance that it blows up the missile grouping if you shoot another missile group at it. Right, yeah, because it's explosive. Yep. So I don't know if you want to roll that, just that way it's um, easier. Yeah, I can roll it. Oh, no, apparently I can't roll it. Just nice off the table yeah, for no reason. You're, you blew up that one. Which is good, because uh, it, it, was, it was a natural 20. Ooh. Oh, wow. I mean, we're not doing crits, I guess, but yeah. And the other one is going to hit. Um, so Zero and Rudge are both shooting up that one? Yep. Okay. Uh, so Rudge got an 11. And is it minus two because of the distance? Um, or is it because of the No, not, not, for, not for this. Okay. Yeah, like just it, for the, the missiles, it literally just says that they're just at the penalty for the missile size. Yep. Okay, so is there any penalties at all? Uh, yeah, minus three. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I got a eight total. Okay, for that not hit. All right, and then zero got a 17, 16. 16, that will hit. Uh, so you want to roll a d100 for that? Yep. Come on, baby, give me a high number. Yeah, I'm paradoxically. <laughs> The dice are like, no, you want. It's the, you probably want... the person who fired the missiles is supposed to roll it, but more fun if you roll Ah, uh, PS. 57. For what are you talking about? The, oh, the dice. Actually, yeah. I think for the. It, it's either way, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I, that means that you destroyed three out of the four missiles. Okay, cool. Still not One bad. of them is still going to hit. Uh, so I'm just going to randomly roll to see who they were targeting in the cluster. Um, you got 1d4. 
Rudge, of course. Oh, that's all right. Well, it's a good thing your armor is fixed, otherwise... I'd be dead. This would be terrible for you, because oh, it's be a plasma missile, so do double damage. Oh, no. Um, okay, so 20 damage. Okay. Oh, what is this shit? Everybody else, except for Willow. Jesus Christ, takes more damage. Oh, Willow still takes damage because of her armor. Oh, right, right, right. What the shit? 25 damage. Holy fuck, Willow. I just rolled high. Re I rolled four sixes and a one on my 5d6. Is that uh, is that 25 to me also? Nope, that's oh. just that splash damage. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, instead of going like the whole hive mind thing, I should have taken the magneto powers. Thought we'd have all the powers covered like that. <laughs> <laughs> just start uh, deflecting these missiles. Pew, 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 pew. All right, well, so that is. I don't know when. I don't know when we get. Pow like new powers again, but I was thinking of going that way. Uh, seven. Seven. Yeah. Like two level. Yeah. Yep. Same for like level. one and a half, I guess. Since a long ways away. Yeah, I know for sure. Um, so. All right. So yep, that's their turn. That brings it to zero. And plus, since it's a, a, a major power, I'd have to get a weakened version of it, and then. So, oh, yeah. so it'd yeah. be it'd be a long road. Yeah, like level, level nine. Game. Yep. I mean, that's a pretty good endgame, though, when you have that covered, too. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Just master of everything. I th and, and, and then it'd be it'd be fun, because then I could pull off some powerful shit. Zero's turn. Yep, sorry. Uh, so, is anything within range? Mm, the nearest one's, like, 2,000 uh, feet away. So, no, no. Zero sits there. On the back of the head. They have no reason to get closer than that. Zero kind of sits and waits for the next jump. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so he lands on, or no, he hovers a little bit to yeah, yeah. knock ahead. Uh, so then Rudge. Alright. Um, then I, uh, are we, are we launching? Are we missile? What are we doing? You guys land kind of spread apart a little bit. Alright, I get, I get close. I, I, I rush up. So we're like far and before we couldn't get close to each other. You're not too far away. No. Um. I mean, I, I, this round you did spend like falling down, so you would yeah, be able yeah, to yeah. immediately jump. Yeah, I mean, we also got comms too, so that helps. Yep. yep. Um, I think next move should be we should jump over the fallen one. All right. I, I, can, I, I can either get the bike or throw the bike at one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now you're thinking. All right. Um... You wanted your metal discs? We'll get some metal discs. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I have my potato gun if we only had some, you know, spiked balls or something. All right. Uh, so I guess I wait. I kind of get, I, I group up and, and also wait for the next jump. Yeah, all right. I think, we're, I think we're all just spending wait, this first uh, time doing nothing. Okay, so then Willow, wait. Yep. Uh, yeah, you guys are kind of just playing defense right now because they're at the range that the... Yeah, maybe we'll, like, we'll try and, like, group back up behind some cover so they can't just keep shooting at us, because that was the whole point of this area in the first place. Yeah, you yeah you are... Well, I mean, you jumped out of your little defensive position, but, yeah, there, there's cover around. Um, okay, so... Just here. To go. Missile use... I think we need to get you one of those sky cycles. Yeah. Pretty it sweet. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the worst idea. Also, I was thinking we should put jet engines on our truck. I think we need a different vehicle. Our truck sucks. Uh, well, right. we can fly the truck. <laughs> oh, your, your, your truck is just transport. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, if we put jet engines on the truck, or at least some kind of jet pack, we could fly the truck. Just get a plane. Yeah, I would just rather design a better, a better vehicle. Uh, uh, so, but that truck can la can can sus can sustain a fall from a hundred feet. So could a plane if I designed it to. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, okay. So the uh, one of the sky cycles, uh, you hear the like roar as it accelerates to uh, 
speeds that it's actually able to go you know it's it's faster speeds yeah. and uh yep. heads off like sort of in the direction towards where the other guy fell um he's not there yet but he's 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 heading in that direction um and then the other one kind of the the closer one kind of uh well no the closer one probably would head that way for sense so he goes uh that way and then the further away one uh is going to launch another volley of missiles okay, um, okay. another four at um, your location all right well it will take this shot because she didn't shoot last time all right uh, so oh, 17, oh, 16, 15, 14. Yep, I rolled another nat 20. Oh, wow. And, uh, Good thing I hit the stupid thing. Yeah, I know, right? And a... Uh, you want to go and just roll, Ben? Four, so you can... 14. For... Yeah, you can roll the explosion thing. Okay. Roger, you can wait. Or, Mike, you can wait till we see how many missiles uh, are left. It's 70 or more? 75? 60 or 65? It's 60 or more. Yeah. 60 or more, they're yeah, 60, all just... 61, I think. Okay. Yep. They're they. You blew them all up, or they blew themselves up. I guess. From from what I remember, it was like it was, it was, just, it was in the thirties. It was like thirty. Yeah, it's like 30, 60, one. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and then above that is boom, boom, boom. Yep. Okay. Yep. So they blow up, uh, break a couple of the tree branches around you uh, as they're coming in, but that's it. You just got some credit, man. They're willing to fucking engage when <laughs> they all their missiles have pretty much been shot out of the sky, and they're still like shooting missiles at us. <laughs> so uh, eventually it'll hit. Yeah, someone will miss. Um. All right. So the uh... that's their turn. Uh, so you guys uh, zero, Rudd. You guys are getting ready for another jump. All right. Like, um, yeah, right, I, like I'd have to. What know. kind of jump is there? Are you gonna try and do the human missile thing again, or? No, no. Like I said, I'm a We're gonna try and jump over to the guy that got downed. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good. Um, so you, so get together, and then Willa jumps on her turn. I mean, yeah, they they go after me, don't they? So we, I, she probably just waited her turn. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's no point in her just wasting a turn just standing here doing nothing if she could just right. go after them. Yeah, so... Let's see. Uh, so... Yeah, Willow jumps towards the, the other guy. Uh, you get sort of sight of him after like, you get out on t into the air. Um, so the bike is... Uh, it looks kind of battered, but not not destroyed. Um, the guy is a distance away from the bike, uh, further down. He's not moving. Um, oh, I can just imagine what you broke on the way down here if you did survive that. Yeah. <laughs> if he is alive, he's not going to be getting up anytime soon. He ain't fucking walking home. Yep. Uh, walking either way, that bikes. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you said the bike wasn't destroyed. No, I mean from a distance, it looks like it's fine. Who knows what, uh, like damage it might sustain internally, but. Okay, I thought you said it was damaged and maybe destroyed. It, you, well, it is damaged, but unsure of whether or not it's functional. So I guess yeah, I, I just, no, I, I just misheard. Um, okay, so then that brings it around to the. Sky cycles again. Um, third attack. Uh, all right, so let's see. Um, so the guy who was heading over towards the bikes gets kind of like in front of you, and uh, he's going to shoot with his. Uh, he's going to shoot with his laser. Uh, Blaster this time. Laser turret. Hey, wait! Who's he gonna shoot? Hey, wait, what? Just, I, I yell, don't shoot. Okay, he's gonna. Oh, okay. He's gonna shoot anyway. In fact, he's gonna shoot you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Uh, 
dare you tell me what to do? Uh, yep, so that's gonna hit. You stupid TV. <laughs> yeah, he's like, fuck you, man. Uh, alright, 18 damage. Pretty mediocre. What does that do? Uh, damage oh. to you. Like, it's laser? Is Howie there... damage. Yeah, it's lasers. La okay, so nothing, no plasma, double, nothing. No, well, yeah, it's because of your, your race thing. Or... <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha, uh, that's why that did double. Well, it, no, it, di it didn't do double, just to be clear. Oh. Yeah, because your armor is shielded against that. It was double against you. you. Yeah, okay. if, if it, it's you personally. Gotcha, gotcha. That is something you don't want to happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> because one of those things does a d6 times 10. Jesus. That sounds um, awful. <laughs> all right, and the other guy is going to do the same. No, he better not do another 18. <laughs> uh, well, he, he's going to do more than that. Well, he better do more. another 18. Uh, so, he, yeah, he hit you. Well, quit it. Uh, I didn't even he tell did, him. I didn't he did 21 anything. damage. I didn't even tell him to stop. Stop <laughs> angering the young men. Well, <laughs> my armor you is all right. It's all right. It's all right. We're doing okay. <clears throat> I spit up some more blood. Yeah, I guess you. Uh, did Did you need? Or no? I guess you, because your armor is at full. It's just that you had your. Yeah, you're at 16. Uh, okay. Yep. Eternally bleeding. Mm-hmm. Well, or maybe it's external. Much. I don't know what I got damaged with this much. Was you got you have a bunch fire? of laser laser burns. Okay. Which are not super pretty. No. Um. So yep, that's their turn. That brings it to Zero's turn. Uh. Yep, he's still waiting for the jump because they're not within range of anything. You guys oh, are in here. Yeah, so we're in, yeah, in, in there. Does it say we're close enough for them yet? Um, yeah, you're the guy uh, like in front of you near the bike. He's probably about a thousand feet away from you. No. Yeah, you couldn't have been that far because we would have like stopped flying as soon as we hit him, basically. Yeah, yeah, so he's not that far away. Oh, yeah, yeah, so we should be able to shoot them now feet away um yeah so the guy closest to the bike is within uh within a thousand feet say like uh 400 okay Ooh, 400. And the other guy is pretty far away so. laser eye then because he was just tailing for you all right so i got a fucking a got a four again man i love rolling twos a four yep Okay. <laughs> oh, that was zero. for zero. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Maybe. So we'll these up. calibrations maybe. are not our shit. <laughs> I was like, maybe he's carrying too much and it's like wiggling around in him. So like every time he tries to shoot, like <laughs> all the barrels shift over to one side. Yeah. Like, a, uh, like stomach growling. His equilibrium's yep. all off. All right, Red, it's your turn. All right. Now I have the big gun still. Yep. All right. Oh, let me show you how it's done, Zero. I do want to clarify that that thing probably gives off some push. Yep. So if you shoot, you're going to launch us the wrong way. You will change your trajectory. Yeah. <sighs> what if I shoot it to help us with our trajectory? I and mean, I guess he's kind of in front of you, so you'd pretty much just be slowing down. But you would be slightly off course. Well, that's what I mean. What if I speed us up? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you could do that. You wouldn't be hitting him, but... That's going to be Grand Theft Auto tank style. Spin, the, oh, yeah. spin it to the back Man, and I miss, just fire it. I miss it. the flying tanks. And just fire it down the fucking street. If if you wanted to do that, yeah, you could. Um, I, I don't know. Is your objective to go faster? Maybe. Is our objective to go faster? We want to get to that guy as quick as possible, so... Then yes. yes. All right. Okay. Quick math. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I actually want to roll it again because, like, my, my last math check got a thirty. Uh, okay, I got a fucking uh, seventy, so not great. Yeah, I, I mean, quick math. You 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 aim it in the opposite direction that you want to go yeah. and shoot it. <laughs> in the opposite direction. Perfect. Okay. Yep. 
So do I need to actually roll for firing? Or... No. Okay. Oh, you're, not, you're gonna hit the sky. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you fire the particle beam into the sky. I shoot in your general direction. I Boom. If I crit fail, maybe yep. it just explodes in my hands. Just keep, keep track of ammo for that thing, because I don't know how much you oh. guys have. All right, how many times? I think it's only been fired twice. I, this is the second time it's been yeah, fired. that's what I thought. So particle, beam, Shots when it's, not a, uh, when it's not connected to the power source of the vehicle. What? So it only has eight shots when it's not connected oh, to the yeah, vehicle. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. When it's connected to the vehicle, it'll just recharge, but yep. you have eight yeah, shots. So, so, so seven six. shots, because... Well, six now. Well, the the shot it had, did yeah, was... Yeah, it was still connected. Oh, yeah. yep. You're right. Yep. Right. Yep. So that's me. All right. So yep, you change going your faster. Uh, Willow. Okay. Um. Well, presumably Willow can't do much because she's holding on to people. Um. Just in general. Right. I'm yeah. Assuming she, yeah. Her but, uh, kind of full. The the drone can shoot at people though. That is true. So so Rod, you you get to see what this thing can do now. So it like lifts up like, um. It's two front claws, and you see like it's kind of like claw type things kind of fold back and a real like two barrel holes and it just shoots off a double blast of lasers nice <laughs> that thing is handy <laughs> uh so natural 19 on a double blast so nice yeah, dodge uh, this <laughs> the the drone sarcastically because you know it's willow she says maybe you should use my calibrations <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh rolled three sixes on the die there um, nice. Zero would say, let me see them. 20, 20 damage. Okay. I would gladly use some, something that works. Alright, so that is... That's Willow's turn, that brings it to their turn again. Um, yeah, so the... Uh... Have we landed yet, or no? Um, we'll say you guys land on this turn. Oh, so, uh, let's see here. All right, yeah, you're kind of like someplace in between the the fallen guy and the the bike when you land. Um, okay. so their turn. Uh, the. Uh, yeah, the guy is going to. Uh, the guy in front is going to shoot at the drone, and then the guy in back is going to shoot at Raj. Laser? Yep. Uh, it. Okay. Um, I've got just, burns. Just barely hits. And then the other one hits. Um, I need some SPF laser. Right, so against the drone... 